What's up guys, thanks for joining me today. After watching how to calculate your first offer for a real estate deal, you are now more aware of how to make an offer on a property and get a sweet deal. At this point, I'm sure you have plenty of offers accepted and now your new project to solve is how to send the purchase agreement to the homeowner. Now, in case you have missed it a couple of months ago, I laid out in detail how to fill out a real estate purchase and sell agreement. Be sure to watch this video next for better understanding of the document. So today, it is my pleasure to show you all how to send purchase agreements through Hello Sign electronic signature for free. This is very beneficial, especially during the COVID-19 times. So let's jump right into it. So first thing we'll do is head over to hellosign.com, which should take us here. You'll see this page. You'll see try Hello Sign for free. If you click this free option, you can get 30 days free of either one of these plans. Um, but the regular free option is a 30 day every 30 days you get three documents that you can send for free to have signed electronically so what you'll do when you get here is press sign up this sign up option will take you to this page and you'll put in your information or you'll sign up with google but ultimately you'll have this so you'll go hello sign i can just log in and show you guys my free account and how it works so sign up with google and then you will go ahead and sign up. So I put in my sign-in information here, all of my sign-in information. So put in my sign-in information right here, makes it easy. So as you see, we are now in here. And you see, send three documents every month for free. So this is the plan. You send three documents every month for free. It'll take you to this page, and this is how it will look. Sign or send is what you will have to press in order to send a document. Once we get here, We'll hit upload file. That way we get the document we need signed. And I'll pull that up for you guys right now. And it gives you, it shows you all the documents that you have. And you'll be able to pull it out of your files. So I just chose the document. Takes a second to upload. From there, you hit next. You can put the name of the person that you need signed. So say the name of the person. I believe the name of this person was Joy Heights. Email address, let's say 123 at gmail.com. All right. So if you were the only signer, you need to sign for yourself. You would just click that. Right here. This is the purchase and sale agreement. And remember, if you guys need a copy of this, you can go ahead and look down below. Get you a free copy of this. So this is the purchase agreement. And dates. So you'll drag the field. And this is for joy. Always remember the seller side, buyer side. You're the buyer. So in this instance, her name is Joy. So we'll grab this. So we'll grab that signature and put it right here. All right. Put that signature right there. And we are golden. So what happens once we send this, Joy will have to fill this in. But right now, since you're the buyer, you'll have to go ahead and fill this out for us. And you'll go me and now, and you'll draw it in right here. And his name was Goppel, so you'll write his name. Boom, boom. That's your signature. You signed it, and then we'll put your date, me now. So the date is for you. That's it. So you signed your name as the buyer. The seller will sign once it's sent. You look over it, everything looks good. We're golden. You sign on the buyer side, seller sign on seller side. We go to next. Joy Heist. And then you put a title on it, document title. Put the property address here as the document title, right? Signa Avenue. Purchase agreement. And then message. You put your clever message in there, and then you'll go ahead and Send it for a signature. 
So, boom, you sent that. You check the documents on the documents page. And as you can see right here, and you, I just got an email right there. We were not able to notify 123US because they actually let you know that, you know, if the, if a seller let, if gives you a bad email, instead of you just sending it and then not letting you know that it has not been sent, at least you can give that seller a call back and say, hey, Wrong email. I think I may have, you know, gotten the wrong word. A letter messed up. Let's figure this out. So that is very important to have. As you see, this is the purchase agreement. It shows right here. And once you have sent it, you'll be able to go right here. And it shows that you only have two signature requests remaining instead of three because you've already sent one of them and that is pretty much the process with that one guys everything's good that's it guys thanks for watching be sure to watch the in-depth video of how to actually fill out the purchase and sell agreement you can find it right there right there somewhere on this end screen thanks again for watching